How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews. Back with a little bit of old school beer jams. I assume a new school brewery. Um, they could have been around for a while. I don't know if they call themselves out on a, on a label here. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to dive in, into a little bit of KC Beer Co. This is their Pilsner. A Pilsner style golden lager. Uh, decocted. And coming in at 5% alcohol by volume. Done and done. Uh, imported barley, malts, imported hops, water and yeast. Yeah, all the other ones I've had from um, this brewery, it says here, crisp, dry, refreshing, noble hop character, delicately bitter finish. Um, all the ones I've had from um, uh, the KC Beer Co. have been fantastic. Um, uh, each one gets better and better. I'm kind of saving this one for last because I'm just, you know, I'm a Pilsner guy. And I really want to give it a whirl and see what's what. All of them actually have listed on the side, like poured a specific way. This one doesn't have it listed, so I assume this is... This is naturally carbonated, but I don't think it's bottle conditioned, maybe? Um, only because they went out of their way to be like, don't pour it this way because you're going to get sediment in it and that's going to ruin everything. So we'll see what's what. Anyway, let's give this a proper Pilsner pour. And uh, label wise, I dig them. I've talked about them previously. All these um, KC Beer Co's will probably all go up at the same time. Um, so, yeah, you know my feels on their whole label design. Now, as far as that goes, I mean, she looks about on Pilsner, maybe a little bit lighter than the classic Pilsner color. Um, the ever so slightest bit, the ever so slightest bit of haziness on it. Um, soft kind of like snow globey carbonation on it. Just under, under, over, sorry, pinky finger of uh, what looks like a fantastical head there. Yeah, she looks the part. A little bit light though, I'm gonna say that. A little bit lighter than what you tap, typically expect from uh, classic Pilsner. Let's get a nose. Clean, crisp. Not much as far as bittering. That Pilsner malt is really a star of the show here. Mm. Yeah, done and done. I'm really not getting much as far as bittering or even any kind of fruit element, whether it be melon or citrus. Some of those things I typically get on Pilsners and sometimes beers like Pilsners, cold stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's really malt driven. Uh, it's not a huge beer, 5%. It's not supposed to be a huge beer, but I've had a couple of the other beers from these guys have been right around the same ABV, been quite a bit more robust. But again, you're, you're talking about a Pilsner here, not necessarily looking to be a two by four to the face. So let's just dive right in. Cheers. that's beer that's beer it's about and, it, and i know that kind of sounds like a knock and it's not a knock man it's about as man it's about as close to macro lager as you can get without being macro lager and again i mean that in an infinitely positive way in that it has this kind of non-aggressiveness approachable there instead of saying non-aggressive let's go approachable this approachability to it to where it's it, it just it's welcoming it's easy to drink um it's giving you that little bit of bitter gunny and that kind of promises in there it's not hitting you in a two by four to the face with hops or malt even though the pills or malt was the start of the show in the nose and it's holding up there in the actual taste but that bittering kind of becomes an equal player in there crisp clean refreshing um, as close to a crispy boy as you can get without being overly crispy and um, really drinks as as clean as a lot of these kind of cleaner let's go there than a lot of these kind of like super hyper tuned macro lagers in that you're not getting any of the negatives you would typically get from those kind of beers well, whether it be that kind of adjunct addition of rice or corn there's none of that to be had here this is pilsner malt maybe a dabble of vienna for the fun skis and done and done i mean it is just clean crisp refreshing i mean if i'm gonna sit here and say okay which one's my favorite of the bunch um it would probably be be in third place for me um in the grand scheme of things i'd probably go uh it would probably be the dunkel i think might have been my favorite of the bunch um this coming in third and then the uh hellas coming in second and then um i forget the other one 
I could be mixing this shit up. I forget stuff all the time. So, but they're all pretty fantastic. But this is just drinking beer. This is what I want cases of. I've said this pretty much about every single one of their beers. But this is drinking beer. This is beer beer. And this is kind of stuff that, you know, sitting around out in my view with the animals or barbecuing or golfing or whatever. These are the beers I want to drink. And it's mean just so well. I wish I had a brewery by me that really did these kind of things. I'm lucky. I have a, com a couple of really fantastical breweries by me. Zigmeister is probably one of the, my favorite tap houses to go to and just relax and, and hang out and have a beer. And they do a Pilsner and do a Kolsch, but it's a little bit more Americanized than this. This is classic with um, a bit more subtlety to it um, when it comes to the Pilsner side of things. And I dig it. I like it. And these are the kind of beers, like I said, I just keep repeating myself that I want to drink. Absolutely fantastic. Delectable. Pretty much everything I want in a Pilsner unless I want a little bit more oomph. Let's put it that way. So let's talk about it. It's one of the better Pilsners I've had as of late. Yes, up there towards the top. Now, Mount, Mount, Rush, Mount Rushmore status. I'll reserve those for ones maybe a little bit more classic or even a little bit more Americanized, depending on the mood I'm in, but damn good stuff nonetheless. Value and availability, no idea. I it This has to come in six packs for less than 10 bucks a piece and leave you with, if you like what, well, will you like this? If you like beer. If you like beer, if you like beer, if you like beer-flavored like beer, beer, and if you like beer. This is something, I mean, not that you would, I don't know if you care to even do this, but if, you know, if you have your Coors, Miller Coors bud guy, you give them one of these, they're happy. They don't care. This is exactly what they would be into, but I don't think they would get the this, this subtle difference of it being more organic, more homely ingredients than a lot of those kind of rice and corn kind of adjuncts. And, um, and, and that's a good thing to have a little bit of kind of, I don't know, crossover that works pretty well. So if you're looking to get somebody into beer. <laughs> be like, try this one. You'll like it. They might scoff at the price, but it's a nice little doorway in the in there, and then start feeding them a little bit of Belgian wits, and I think you get them. That's usually how I wrangle them in. Anyway, there you go. Another review in the books. Thank you very much, uh, Jesse, for sending this off. Super cool review. I'm very appreciative of it of the whole batch. It was really fun to run through all four of these beers and kind of get a kind of an impression from a brewery that I've never heard of before, never had anything from before. So it's pretty awesome. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, if you want to comment down there, uh, massive beers. If you want to check me out doing the social media stuff, beer massive. Want to check me out doing a whole podcasting thing, and hopefully, you guys enjoyed our review. Hopefully, enjoying a little pilsner right now, and hopefully, see you next time. Cheers.